Oh, hi everybody. Uh, welcome to my studio. I'm busy working on paintings on paper for a natural burial project. So that you can see making the big papers and coating them with beeswax and um, I've got an art exhibition opening in about three weeks. So, But what we want to do today, which will be quite fun, is to have a look at these vats and how we've got a lifter system going up and down. So come with me and I'll pull apart my vat and we'll have a look at see how it's done. Actually it's quite easy, you'd be surprised. Okay, see you then. Right, here it is. Um, first of all, I've just finished the project that you saw in the last video. So, but I want to drain my vat first and the handiest thing I've ever made is this old vegetable crate with sewing up a, a bit of netting inside. So these, these bits of aluminium here are what lifts it up and down. So what it is, is an, an aluminium frame made with two bars spacers with attached here and I've cut a groove into that bar going all the way down there using two tech screws runs the length of the bat to the other side on each end, the other end's the same a rope coming up over a pulley so when I put my foot on the lever you can see under there the rope travels along the two more pulleys here down attaching to the foot pedal foot pedal, put your foot on it, it goes down, the two pieces of rope go up, two pulleys, pulleys run, the rope runs across, and then down, corner like that, it's got braces, and here it has like a, an angle iron, with a piece of timber going along and there's that attached up to the foot pulley and there's a couple of knots underneath so here's the back construction you can see the rivets this is the inside of the vat Square extrusion. Everything siliconed. Right, I'm going to take the bat stand to bits. So undo that. Undo this. Those are the tech screws. There it is.
Here's my bigger vat, and it's used to make the natural burial papers. It's about eight feet long, five feet wide, and it's maybe a foot and a half deep. So you can see the construction here. This is very, very thin aluminium sheet, and this is square tube. And what I've done is bent the sheet up into a box shape and then made an end for it, like this is the end here. This is a U-shaped channel which fits on top and here I've got a little section that you can remove so you can pop that out, undo the screws and this whole vat comes into two pieces so it's got screws all the way along the bottom and up and it doesn't need to be 100% uh, waterproof because the pulp will soon seal any any gaps. Now, quite cunningly, down here in the vat are two blocks, two blocks of wood. So the, the mold slips down under those and it's held on the bottom. So here are the molds that go in it. This mesh is um, put onto organic crops, so it's a fine nylon mesh and I've, it's got fibre water blasted into it. Here you can see the decal goes on and I screw it down. Slide along the bottom. Under the two chocks of wood. And then I'm just going to let that float. This is where I use the levers. I'm going to slide that sheet onto there and suck the water out. Look at that, beauty! Now, once the water's sucked out, I roly poly it and then out in the sun to dry. And yes, you're right, we do have a dry climate. So the prevailing wind is from the west and it comes up over the Southern Alps and drops all its moisture. And over this side of New Zealand in the South Island, we have little rain and you can put your washing out and it's dry in a couple of hours. If you don't cover it up, all kinds of bugs and insects get in there, um, especially if you're working over several days. And even beetles flying overhead will see the pond and dive into it, and they're the water beetles. They'll come up into your, into your piece of paper. Quite fun. So there it is, the magnificent vat lifter. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Thanks everyone, I hope you found this video helpful. 
So, thank you. Bye.